Hey, what is up, you sexy beast? My name is Shadowfax and or Louise, whichever you want to call me. And today I've got some Black Ops 1 PC gameplay for your faces. And I'm using the default class of the M16 because I have not really played multiplayer on the PC for Black Ops 1. So I haven't got anything unlocked, but I jumped on, had a lot of fun, and uh, this was the end result. And it wasn't too bad, not for a little PC noob like me. But uh, anyway, guys, I've got a few things I want to chat about with you today. Two, actually. Two. Um... Yeah, guys, I've been umming and ahhing, as some of you will know for a little while now, about making a second channel devoted to zombies, and you guys are going to be like, what the fuck? Like, Louise, you can't even keep up with one channel, let alone two. But, like, just hear me out on this, guys. Now, I've been wanting to do zombies, and I have been doing zombies, because I really love zombies, and it's, it's where I want to take my channel. Like, they always say, when you're doing YouTube, you end up having a few channels, and before you actually find your niche and find what you want to do. And this is actually only my first channel. Shadowfax is my first ever channel, so... It's sort of like, and I've stuck with this for three years now. Um, like, not consistently, obviously, but I have stuck with it for three years. And, but I really want to do more zombies stuff. Like, zombies, I'm not going to lie, zombies is just ten times easier to do. Because I have the trouble with, I, I really set myself high standards on gameplay. Well, I did. And I found it really hard to, to get gameplay because I'm setting myself such high standards and I really haven't got the capabilities. So, I'm, I'm calming down on that front, but that was sort of really what put me off. Um, of making videos and commentaries and stuff and sometimes I like I've said before I struggle thinking about what to talk about in a commentary and stuff like that So that's why I've been so inconsistent. Well with zombies I'm pretty sure I wouldn't be because it's just so much easier So I was umming and ahhing about it and I've decided to take the plunge and do it And I have now done it and it is called shadow facts and the zombies and it is now live I'm gonna leave a link in the description and if you guys would do me the honor oh, look at that cheeky little triple spray and spawn it really annoy you of me. If you guys would do me the honour of going over there and checking it out, I'd be really eternal, eternally grateful. I've done the channel art myself, so like be gentle with me on that, guys, because I've never done anything like that. It's been a whole new learning curve. But I've really enjoyed it. Um, but yeah, I've done the channel art myself. I've done an intro video, which is just plain fucking weird. Um, and I had a, I, it's really weird and cheesy, but I had a lot of fun doing it. So I don't care if people think it's crap. But, um, and uh, the first uh, playthrough of a custom zombies map will be up there, up on there. So, yeah, if you guys would go over and check it out, I'll leave a link in the description. And just let me know what you think of it, and maybe give the videos a like and a comment, and, and maybe a subscription if it's the sort of thing that you'd be into. I'd be eternally grateful, because if it doesn't take off and it doesn't do well, this channel, it's not the end of the world. No harm done, you know? But I really want to give it a go and see what happens, because... I think it'll be a lot of fun. Um, my plan is, because zombies is going to be ten times easier for me to do, and and I'm probably going to enjoy it a lot more, well, I'm gonna. the plan is to do a video a day over on the zombies channel, and a video every other day over on this channel. But the, the video every other day on this channel probably won't start officially until Black Ops 3 is out, because that's when I'm really going to be grinding multiplayer. So, because uh, though I love, like, the other Call of Duties, like Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, I am pretty burnt out on them. So... I'm like desperately, desperately awaiting the arrival of Black Ops 3. You like, just don't understand. But uh, talking about Black Ops 3, oh my god, I've been watching all these videos of the beta, and you lucky, lucky guys on PlayStation, I'm so jealous. I'm so jealous. That game looks so much fun. I'm going to reserve proper judgment until I've actually played the game myself. But it looks like a hell of a lot of fun. It looks like Black Ops 2, but with Titanfall movement mechanics, which that suits me down to the ground. I loved Titanfall, and it's. And it's uh, like movement mechanics, absolutely adored that. And I also loved, uh, I love Black Ops too. I'm not gonna lie, like you can bitch and s I, I bitch about that game so much, and I rage at it like still to this day. But I don't even what the hell with that kill cam? That was just weird. Um, but there's no denying it. I loved Black Ops 2, Black Ops 1, and Black Ops 2, especially Black Ops 2. I loved. I would say that Black Ops 2 is probably my favourite Call of Duty. And some people are going to think I'm mad for that, but it's what essentially really got me into the multiplayer side of zom um, zombies. Multiplayer side of COD, and I love it. I love it. And we all know it's got its bullshit. It's got its bullshit like paper thin walls, or it was you'd be, be someone be shooting at you, and it's as you get into cover that you die. Like bullshit like that. That really pisses me off. Or there was a glitch on a few of the maps, especially slums in the graveyard bit. You'd be running through the slums and you get to the graveyard bit and you see no one there and you keep running and all of a sudden you're dead. And you're like, what? And when you look at the kill cam, 
there was some geezer right in front of you, right in front of your bloody eyes, and you didn't see him, and it was a glitch on that map, and it and it was on a couple of other maps as well, but it was like notorious on slums in the graveyard bit. Like Funder did a video on it and everything, and they never sorted it, and it really pissed me off. But um, but still, I loved that game, with, even with all its lag and its bullshit. I loved that game. It was so much fun, and that's that's the thing with Trail. They bring out games that have that they do. You can never get a game that's never gonna have like all these glitches and bugs and shit, but. They bring out games that do have that, and we, we bitch and moan about it, but it's still a fun game. You still have a shit ton of fun on it, and you still keep going back to it. So that's what I'm like really eagerly anticipating with Black Ops 3. That's what I think it's going to be like. There is no doubt going to be things in it that we're all going to hate, but I think I think essentially it's going to be good. So, um, yeah, I've pre-ordered for the Xbox One uh, the digital edition so that I get the season pass, and I'll be getting the, uh, the Giant Zombies map. Of course I've got to have the Giant Zombies map. That, that shit looks good. Like... Shadow of of Evil, I'm still not sure if I'm going to like that map, but the giant looks awesome. So, I've pre-ordered for the Xbox One, so we're going to get the, the Black Ops 3 beta in a couple of days. Thank you, PS4 guys, for testing that shit for us so that they can make a few changes. Joking, joking, chill out. Um, so, yeah, guys, really looking forward to it, and expect some videos of the Black Ops 3 beta. But for now, that is the end of the video. I love you guys, and I will see you in the next one. And if you go over and check out my channel, I'll be really grateful. Bye!